Hello, everyone. So, as you can see, I am starting a new game. I've never played the Stanley Parable before. Thanks for asking, no game. Uh, I genuinely don't know very much about this game, which apparently is a good thing. Apparently, you should not read anything about this game before you play it, which I haven't. The only thing I do know is that there are apparently 19 endings, which seems fun. And I know this game got a lot of buzz a while ago, but as is kind of par for the course on this channel, I don't seem to play games when they come out. <laughs> I seem to play them way later. Uh, I've heard this game is atmospheric, but not scary. I'm okay with suspense. I'm terrible with horror. If you've seen me play Tori, that might track. But the vibes just felt right on the screen. So we're starting here. Uh, let's go. Okay. Barely visible. I mean, I can literally see it there. But that seems fun. Enter the current time. What the hell? How do I need time? <laughs> 5.50, my goodness. Wait, what? 5.58, sure. Why do I need the time? Settings run. Seems about the right volume. Maybe I'll turn the volume down just a little bit. What do you? What is up with the voices? This game is wild. Never the end is never the end is never the end is loading. This is the story oh, of a man I'm not named skipping. Stanley. I know this is a narrative Stanley game too, worked for so. a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. The Orders mood. came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, oh. how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. I'm happy for Stanley. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. I'm not something Stanley. that would forever change Stanley. Oh wait, something maybe he I would am never quite forget. Maybe we're all Stanley. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I'm gonna turn it slightly down, I think. Oh my god, these settings, these, uh... These sound effects are so nice. Okay, I think that's gonna be about right. Generally feels good though. I like that this begin the game again. <laughs> Interesting. Can I? Oh, no jump. They do have crouch. Can I? Can I type something? Maybe not. Also, mouse sense feels just a touch high. Let's turn that down. That feels a bit better. I'm zooming though. Look at me strafe. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh no. What, what the hell? Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Can I not use anything? Huh. I want to go back in my room though. Hang on. Let's just double check the controls real quick. Interact is E. And then left mouse click. 
What a walk. Oh, like auto walk forward? That's cool. It's a fun little setting. Okay, we cannot open the door. Nope, alright, fine. Shouldn't try to open too many things, I don't think. I swear I saw someone. I think this game probably gives you a lot of that feeling. Oh my god, these hallways are actually endless. 4B3? I will say... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What? I will say, one of the things I do like, even though I don't like horror games, is... Uh, I mean, Control's not exactly this theme. This is a little more lighthearted, if similarly eerie, but... I'm here for the new weird stuff. Do I listen to the voice? I guess so. I feel like this is what playing... I feel like this is what playing, um... If, um, oh, what's that show? If Severance was a show. Yet, Sorry, a video not game. A single person here I feel either. like this is the game. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, get fired. hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> Any other tips? Nice. That was a, there's a good tips, actually. Any more slides? Wait, where's the projector? I'm the most unique? Kind of true. Wait. Where is the projector? <laughs> oh, there. Okay, there is a projector. Slides, charts, and charts, and slides. I wonder how long this goes on for. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so curious what the longest and shortest endings are. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if it's just a general thing, but fill out in triplicate does feel like a specific reference to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This is like the creepy version of that, maybe? <laughs> lunch break. Wait, it says spring break. I thought it said lunch. I was going to say, one of my dreams for the future is definitely lunch. Can I... I can't interact with stuff, right? I guess. I don't know what, but allegedly. Okay. Will it be different? I'm so curious. Like, I just want to know. Ooh. Okay. Looks like the slide show has finally looped. Can I go in here? Oh, yes. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so no he broom. turned around and got back on track. How dare you. Are all of there Stanley's was nothing here. interact no noises? No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Are they all typing noises? I think so. Yeah, that's Stanley's interact noise. That's cool. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At I least if there was something. something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> this is another game with an excellent narrator. <laughs> Much like Thomas. I can't jump. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Yes, standing I like it in here. Nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. How much more dialogue is there? You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? But what if, if there said is? Stanley walked past the broom closet. At least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh my god, I bet the closet is important. Ooh, it's fancy up here. Honey crisp. Let's 
game is extremely unsettling. Which, again, I know is the point. Why? Can I go back down the stairs? Maybe once I could have. Not anymore. Well, the beige... Wait, did I say the beige pages? Ah. It does. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Why is your office Shocked, so nice? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. Wait, why is he telling but of me? Of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley oh God. happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I don't... I don't appreciate how ominous that was. Just for my sake, I'm going to turn the general volume down a little bit. Just to keep it a little less ambient. Ooh. I mean, there is kind of only one way to go. Yes, we'll go. I don't like this. No, oh, this is better. Oh, loading. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. A bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Stanley actually got back into the hmm, elevator what's up. and went back up. Silly me. What if I hit down Why again? Why did though? Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. I mean, I'm definitely hitting down again. Oh, interesting. I cannot go down again. That's fun. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. Is it's it still the... just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive, rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Like I'm being wow. made fun of. I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Can I play piano? No. Maybe. Nope. Left click doesn't seem to do anything different. Do I just go back? Go press this again? Does it close everything? Doesn't seem to do anything. I feel like... So, okay. There is one other thing I heard about this game. Apparently there's a Steam achievement for not playing it for like five years. <laughs> and then another one for not playing it for ten years. So I could see this kind of game being the game where there's at least an area in the game where you just wait in forever. <laughs> and then eventually something happens. Which is really interesting, but I guess we can go back down now. 
Okay, whatever. We'll go back down. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator. What if I hit up again, again, though? Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? I mean, I feel like for my first playthrough, maybe I should just be. Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? I mean, I really have to do this. Did you think we were going to go forward down the <laughs> spooky corridor? No. I wonder how many lines of dialogue you had to record for this game. To go back up in the elevator. Must have been so many. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? What the suspense is killing me. I have to know. Could be something different. You don't know. Okay, it's still the boss's office. <laughs> oh my god. It's the boss's office. <laughs> actually kind of jumped. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. I wonder if... Oh. What? What? What is going on? Been hit with the drinking bird. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more wait, time what? to process. No! Wait, is this an ending? <laughs> this would be really funny. <laughs> this is just a loop. A little song kind of bangs, I'm gonna be honest. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. I feel like I'm being made fun of again. All right, fine. Of course, going back down. But the what elevator. if? How did I not anticipate it? What and if we sure went back up obvious, again? But you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate I really want to hit up again. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making like is. I can't begin to explain to you how much I want to hit up again. That has grown stale and repetitive. I feel like I have to do it. Like the button is glowing. Okay, one more time. 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 <laughs> like I don't know. Should I just keep doing it? Hmm. You know what? I just thought of something. Hold on. Let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's exactly. the real thrill. It could be something else. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Oh, Why no. Why don't we take this elevator oh, no. Is this the ending? and slow? No. There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, I mean, it's it very seems dramatic. like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. No, I do they not want, want that. Big no, I don't want that. Flung right in their faces from nope. the very moment that things get nope, started. Nope, I don't. But where's the tension? I like where's tension. the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story, the characters? Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. Exactly. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. I agree. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over <laughs> and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, this game's I pretty want unique stories and different. that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it. 
which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. That's why people like you so much, Stanby. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know? People look I up to I'm you. Which is why... Just though a troll. I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press oh, conference yes. for you. Let's go. So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're what not this much is just for the a public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you legitimately may not the end. impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh, let's okay, go. But oh, what if I hit down again? <laughs> so they don't want me to hit down. Okay, the room no. we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. What if I go somewhere else though? Guy who went to Mars. Oh, it's me. I'm Stanley. I mean, I, well, I didn't know it would do something different, but I was, ah, I was hopeful. Yes, here it is, just through this door. That door? How about this door? Dang. You're like it's right. not a real story. ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay. It looks oh, like they're ready chair. for you. Go get them. I thought this was like the end, but the stage is upstairs. Up again, down again. The Stanley story. I mean. Wait, what if I go back this way, though? Oh, I can't, right? Yeah. Remember where you came from? My coworkers! I found them! There's so many nice details in this game. This must have been such a wild game to make. I do skateboard tricks? Apparently I do skateboard tricks. Okay. Didn't come up with pizza though. Not that cool. Oh god. Hello. Can I get back? Can I get back? I'll go back. Oh. That's cool. So I'm guessing that's a loop of the game. You know what? Let's All of his out. co-workers were gone. Oh. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. Can I trigger the end. ending again? I don't think I want to try it this time. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, yeah, I can't, I can't. hoping. He oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What if I try the elevator thing again, though? They're going to say something similar. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an this indication way. of any oh, human life. Wrong. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began what wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk. 
pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What Ooh. could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two eight four five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly get incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input the correct it's cool code to see the change. by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened I mean, we all know what's going to happen, right? We all know exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> I want to see if I can trigger the ending again. I assume that was an ending. To be fair, one of my other things is like... general I feel like a playthrough is like her Whoops. ending nope uh, never mind Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up silly me why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office well that's a great question I just can't wait to find okay. out well, I was gonna end it before but I'm actually so curious if I can get the same ending so we'll try I think we'll wrap it up with this particular episode, but I have no idea what to expect with this game. Here we are, Stanley. It's your so you know boss's what? office. Find out next exactly time. The way it was before this game is really elevator. interesting. It's sad to explore exactly a little bit more. What it is. But for now, thanks for hanging out. We'll have the elevator once again next time. The again. See you later. This has fleshed out the plot